Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119, also HarbachElectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. So we have another Ameritron amplifier here, an AL1500, I was waiting on parts. So apparently someone else worked on it up uh, this way and I guess uh, had some issues or something I don't know so I'm gonna go through it and correct what needs to be corrected and get it working again so first off the air variable cap had some arcing so he opted to just change it you know I could try to clean it but you know if it continues to arc then you know it's gonna have to get changed so I can't guarantee that it won't arc after I clean it. So, it has the series glitch resistor, it has the spark gap. So, the uh, soft start relay is in rough condition. Let's see, it's toasted, so I'm going to change that. I'll change the resistor. So, someone came in here and Guessing did some work to the relay board. As you can tell, the solder work is an original, and <laughs> they put like liquid electrical tape over the wires. They must have hit the wires with their soldering iron. So, customer said he blew up a couple sets of finals in his in his radio. So I'm not going to take any chances. I'm just going to change the whole board. If someone's played with this before. I hate when people go in and do things and they, you know, some people shouldn't be working on stuff, you know, so uh, please just bring it, just send it to me, get it done right the first time, you know, so, okay, uh, I'm going to get to work and uh, I'm also going to change the SO239s, they don't have a super tight grip, so I use ones from Max Gain Systems, good people over there. Okay, I will uh, see you guys in a long bit. Stay tuned. Oh, another thing. Someone put a filter in here. I'm taking that out. And it's not needed. And I don't know if that's contributing to anything. I don't think. I don't think that's the original cord. So. Okay, I will be back. Stay tuned. Okay, so I pulled the transformer out. The guy put goop on the threads for some reason, I don't know why. In order to get it out and put it back in, you need a 716 socket and an extension with a 3 8 ratchet, or you can use a quarter inch drive, either or whatever. But uh, to hold the nut in place, I usually put a little bit of like grease or something on the outside of the nut, inside, and then I slip it in the socket so I can um, hold it in, or if you have a magnetic type socket set up then that works too phone is always going off okay so i'm gonna take this stupid filter out it's not needed pull the cord in more just do it right uh, replace this soft start relay replace the soft start resistor replace this board it's really boogered up you know so put the blower on the highest speed i always do that it's best to live with a little bit more noise you want as much cooling as possible, going as much airflow going through the tube as possible. I can see where I must hit this with a soldering iron also. I worked on it. I have to look over every little thing because the guy who worked on this just really did a number on it. Someone changed at least one of the zeners and need to check both part numbers to make sure they're correct. The wire is awfully close. Notice the hot, the center conductor of the output is less than a sixteenth of an inch away from the ground trace. So, like I said, someone's had this apart. Instead of chasing my tail, I mean, board, new board was cheap and then it was still available. So, and I'll replace the SO239. So, I'm going to take some pictures and then um, get to work, actually. Here's the. There's the new board. Brand new. Brand spanking new. So, see you guys soon. 
Okay, I'm back with the completed Maritron AL 1500. Customer wants a video of it working on 20 meters, so I'll show it producing 1500 watts or so on 20. So, radio set to roughly 44 watts, 2500 watt slug, legal limit, 1500s right there for this band. All sorts of phone calls. Sorry about that. So, Key the amp with the foot pedal. Audio hello. Audio hello hello. Shh, 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 shh. Very low grid current. Audio hello hello. Audio hello. A little over 1500 right there. Audio hello hello hello. Grid <clears throat> current. Shh, shh, shh. Output. Again. Hello 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 hello. And frequency. Okay, so I'll pull, I'm going to let it cool off for a second, pull the cover, and I'll show you all the stuff that I did to it. See you soon. So here's the inside of the AL1500. I'm going to go over everything real quick. So, I know I said it before I talked about some of it. Another guy worked on this. I'm not going to say his name. He sold it to a guy. That guy blew the finals in his radio and then went to my customer. He blew up two sets of finals. So, I, uh... I wanted to make sure I went through everything because I didn't want to blow up the finals of my radio. So before I even tested it, I checked even more than I usually check. I found a lot of crazy stuff going on. So first off, these are temporary plate blocking caps. Uh, came with HT58s. These are HHs. They'll easily handle Eagle Limit Plus, but the HT58s handle more current. So I wanted to make sure I put the, you know, originals in but I didn't have any here so I had to order them but uh, I was able to test it with these ones in here so needed a new tube filled a high pot I bonded the cathode the filament and the grid together and went from the anode to the grid and it failed start pulling current around like 800 volts or so the customer is going to get the old one back this one came from a seller on eBay who is reliable and honest. He uh, pulls them out of MRI machines. Uh, so, uh, next to nothing for grid current, as you saw in the video, works great. So, clean the band switch. You have to be careful with these band switches. You can't get them anymore, well, if you, unless you want to buy a whole bunch and spend a bunch of money. Uh, so, that's this side. It has the Series glitch resistor from the factory. That's the spark gap. So here's the old soft start relay, the old soft start resistor. See it's damaged. It's cracked down the center of the resistor. Here's the old board. See our relay board. The old line filter, which is not needed. So I put the terminal strip in, the stock one. Rainy wiring from the strip over to the bearer strip. I used silver plated stranded Teflon jacketed wire. The uh, tabs coming off the barrier strip, these three, the screws were loose and they were actually wobbling around so I tightened them up. Rainy USA 239s from Max Gain Systems. Fixed all the heat shrink, you know, where the insulation of the wiring was damaged. See the brand new filter caps. Bought those from Ameritron slash MFJ. These are the resistors they sent with them. Brand new. You always have to change those if you change the caps. The B negative wire, the strand, a lot of the strands were broken and it was just like solder tagged onto the board. They weren't going through the hole. So I replaced the wire. Again, silver plated stranded center conductor with Teflon jacket with Teflon tubing over it and zip tied to the standoff. The uh, meter protection diode also just tag soldered it wasn't going through the hole so I replaced it soldered it properly and um, that's about it there's a lot of uh, solder work repair and I didn't blow the finals on my radio <laughs> so I also almost forgot it's always important. I always put the blower on the highest speed and you always want to make sure the filament transformers tap to the right voltage 
was on the 220 tap, so he's actually uh, way hot on the filament voltage on the tube. It's a big no-no, especially for an indirectly heated cathode tube like the 8877. So now it's on the 240 tap. And um, that's about it. So if you need any amp repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. My other website is harbachelectronics.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. To add that I changed the air variable capacitor on the plate side. So again, thanks for watching.